In this video we're going to be welding some stainless steel using nothing but two car batteries and some jumper cables. How do we set this up then? Well it's a piece of cake. All we've got to do is connect the positive from one battery to the negative the other. In my case I've doubled up the cables, so there are two sets of cables going to each connection but the only reason for that is that the cross-sectional area of these is just tiny because they're very cheap. So if you've got decent jump leads you only need one cable across here. I've also made up an inductor here, this is just a big steel bolt with some coils around it with the jump leads. You don't actually need that, you can weld without it, I've just found that the arc is a little bit better with that, that's why I've got it in there. So I've got the positive connected there, they're going to be going to the workpiece. These were two sections of tube until yesterday. I've just been messing around a wee bit. I've got them connected. I'm going to be continuing to weld these. And we're going to have the electrode on the negative. So we need to connect that to the battery. Connect this to the workpiece. I'll stick that in the vise as well, just to make it a bit easier. I'm using stainless steel rods here because I'm on a boat and any welding I'm going to be doing is going to be stainless steel and they're quite thin, 1.6 mil rods. And as you can see, I'm just using a set of mole grips as my electrode holder. Now I know what you're thinking, where's your welding helmet? I don't need one. I've got some safety specs with an auto darkening screen taped to them, so I'm perfectly safe. I've also got some Factor 50 sun cream on. Let's weld. I'm starting off with an overview so you know I'm not cheating and then I'll zoom in and give you a better view in a minute. Gonna have a shot on this stainless steel scraper now, which is flat, should be a little bit easier. I'm not a good welder, as you can see. There you go then, there's a lot of rubbish on there, but I did get some good runs, so you can weld stainless steel using two car batteries. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more randomly helpful videos. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, don't forget, love life.